Lake Tahoe's strong 4.2 magnitude earthquake in the collapsed volcanic crater and a large quake swarm today. Let's take a look at what's going on there because there's a quake swarm right in the center of this volcanic crater. This is an aerial view of Lake Tahoe. We are at Sizewell Berkeley. I'll leave links below for you for all this. This is Lake Tahoe, seven kilometers depth and right in the center of it, you can see this is the 4.2 that we saw before. We're going to look at that and uh, 3.1 and uh, this is still happening. This is all today's quakes. All today's. They didn't have this past week. Usually they would show the past week in yellow. This is all today's quakes. So what is going on? Here we are. Lake Tahoe. Right there. Carson City. And we'll see that it shook all of San Francisco as well. Okay. Here we go. This is this thing here is Long Valley Caldera Super Volcano. Right there. This is the San Andreas Fault. This is the Garlic Fault. This is Ridgecrest. And this is that little lake there is Long Valley Caldera Supervolcano. So Lake Tahoe is a failed, it's a collapsed volcanic crater. And uh, let's take a look at the shake maps. I have a better one. Here we are. Okay. There you are. And uh, that's Lake Tahoe area. Let's go to the aerial. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Yeah, this, is, uh, this is the San Francisco area. Wait a minute, let's go back to the map. San Francisco right there. As you can see, they stopped the block in the intensity. That's the USGS intensity of that block. You can see this whole area has been shaken, including, of course, Long Valley Caldera Supervolcano. There we go. There we go. Okay. And how many people felt it? Let's see. I forgot. I think it was 1,600 something. Let's see how many... 1,611, as you can see, shake maps, the intensity, and it's uh, a failed caldera. Uh, let's go to Wikipedia. This is it. The largest freshwater lake Sierra Nevada, lying 6,225 feet, uh, feet uh, it's straddling the state between California and Nevada. It's a lar large alpine lake in North America. It trails only the five great lakes in largest by volume. And it's very deep, 1,645 feet, the second deepest in the United States after Crater Lake in Oregon. And it was formed about 2 million years ago as part of the Lake Tahoe Basin, the modern extent shape during the ice ages known for the clarity of water. Okay, Lake Tahoe, more than 75% of Lake Watershed National Forest Land. It's a major tourist attraction, as we know. It's beautiful up there. I've never been. But uh, the geography... Second deepest lake, as we see, there it is right there. There it is right there. And um, geology was formed by vertical motion faulting. Uplifted blocks created the Carson Range on the east and the main Sierra Nevada crest on the west. Down dropping, block lifting, half grabbins created the lake. Tahoe Basin in between, this kind of faulting characteristic of geology of the adjoining Great Basin to the east. It's the youngest of several extension basins of Walker Lane, the Walker Lane Fault System. Okay, the Walker Lane Fault System. Let's take this off. This is, uh, as we know, the uh, San Andreas Fault, Hayward Fault, and this is the Walker Lane Fault System, which is a system, uh, it's not one fault, it's uh, hundreds of faults put together. This is where all the high threat volcanoes of California are, and um, as we saw before, let's see it again. No, that's not it. It's this one. Okay. Let's go to our aerial and go in a little bit. With all these lines there, it's a little mess to see. But we'll get it. We'll get it. That's it. That's, this is it. That's Long Valley Caldera 
super volcano. Okay, let's go to the aerial again, topography. Mono Lake. Okay, and you can see all the fractures there. This is the Walker Lane fault system. And of course, that's not good for super volcanoes to be rocked all the time with such great earthquakes. You can see the amount of tremor that was going on there. Okay, San Andreas Fault, Walker Lane Fault System, and Lake Tahoe, and uh, this is, of course, Long Valley Caldera. Let's go to the, well, I'll leave links below. You can read more of the geology. Um, climate Forgetter, okay, it's a beautiful place. Now, let's go to the, this is Lake Tahoe, the Great Tahoe Lake. Let's go to the geodesy to find out how the movement is going there. This is the GPS's. Oops, okay. Okay. So this is going west. If it were going up, it means it would be going east. So it's going west. And if it were going no up, it would be going north. This is going southwest. And um, the inflation is sort of uh, seasonal and steady. But it's moving southwest. It's moving southwest. This area is moving southwest. Let's take this one on the other side of the lake. Again, it's going southwest and seasonal inflation. And let's go to the north part of the lake. See how it's going southwest again. Okay, southwest. Let's go to um, Mono Lake here of the Long Valley Caldera. How's that going? Uh, ooh, okay, that's going west, but this is going south and then north and then south and then sort of north and then south it's really moving this is the long valley caldera that's just south of lake tahoe uh where is the um that's about 20 kilometers 20 kilometers that's about 60 kilometers about 30 of what uh, uh, uh is that one, two, three, four, a hundred kilometers? It's about to what, 60 miles, 40 miles? I don't know, depending on where you take the, okay, from lake to lake. So this is going all over the place, Long Valley Caldera. And this guy again is going southwest. And you can see that's inflating. This is Long Valley Caldera is inflating. We were told that. But Lake Tahoe, I don't like the fact that it's moving so much today. All of you there, please be very careful, especially now that uh, uh, vacations are starting. Thank you for your support, and I'll leave links below for you for this.